What's up guys, I'm about to show you my latest project. This is the clock box. So you take the base, put the spring on, and everything is printed in PLA here. Even the spring is printed in PLA, by the way. So next up, we take the ratchet gear and we insert the ratchet, like that. And that goes on top of the spring. Next up, we take the, what I call the drive gear. So the drive gear goes like that. And then we take the pallet gear, or the escapement gear, whatever you want to call it. And this one goes right here. Make sure that's on tight. And then at this point, we take the pallet and make sure it's upside down. That. And now we just put the top of the cage on top. All right, and that doesn't snap together or anything. It's kind of a loose fit. And then there's two screws on top or what tightens everything together. Doesn't matter which one you do first. So I'm just gonna do the knob first. And then the bolt. So once you've put these screws in, the case really does not come apart. Last step is to take your key, and I'm gonna be making a bunch of different models for these keys because you can really just make any type of key you want, just put a block on it, and I think it'll be fun to have a big variety of keys to choose from. So you just insert the key right here, and then I like to hold down the pallet while I twist it, and you can see the spring on the back cranks up. And you want to be careful not to over tighten this, or you could break the knob. This is the weakest point right here. I've broken that a couple times just from testing it, from tightening it too much. So of course you're going to get jams here and there, and it's probably not going to always work perfectly, especially because we're, we're working with plastic spring here. You only get about 30 seconds of life out of this thing max, but it is a really, really cool art piece, and I hope to expand on this and hopefully make a longer lasting version. So I want to make some line of toys that actually have some more functionality than this thing, but I do think it's a really cool looking proof of concept, and I like how it turned out. I also wanted to show off this awesome 3D printed robot from JLC3DP. JLC3DP is my sponsor from China. Um, they are an amazing 3D printed metal company. This is stainless steel that you're seeing. It's extremely high quality. It's honestly higher quality than my bamboo lab, in my opinion. I mean, look at that. Even the joints on the hands move perfectly. This is entirely articulated. It's very heavy in my hands. I know you can't feel it through the screen, but it's very heavy and cold. Uh, this thing is awesome. I mean, super, super cool. JLC 3DP can hook it up with some metal 3D printed parts. If you need anything, hit them up. They're based in China, but their communication skills have been amazing, better than most American companies I've dealt with, honestly. So definitely check them out. Look at this. You can't even see any layer lines or anything. And so far I've only done articulated figures, but let me know what I should do next in steel. I also just want to say thank you for all the new subscribers. On Instagram, I doubled my follower count with this bad boy. 
I mean, a lot of you love the Shrek toothpaste. This thing got over 300 million views on Instagram and a bunch more views on YouTube and TikTok as well. This compliant blaster by Ultimate on Maker World. It's free on Maker World, guys. It's a free file. Super awesome gun by Ultimate. I love this thing. And it also was a big hit on my shorts channel. So make sure to check out that short. And thank you for all the new subs and followers. Thank you for watching.